good afternoon welcome to pastor's corner from Kearney, new jersey i'm blessed and highly favored to have with us today pastor paul valerius who is a missionary pastor paul valerius is my mentor and most of you may have known him already he's not new to west hudson christian center and he's into church planting he's into mission he's a missionary to usa and more more specifically to newark new jersey and we thank god for his ministry and in times like this you know when i get the opportunity to speak to other ministers i feel that you should get the opportunity to be blessed by some of the blessings i'm getting you know as the congregation of west Hudson christian center so today i'm just gonna leave it you you know we've been doing our study on i uh, just a study not not a study really um on sec second john um three which says grace mercy and peace from god the father and from jesus christ the father's son will be with will be with us in truth and in love and i've spoken on the subject of grace and mercy today i feel that pastor paul would be much much willing to share on peace with us so let's let's get from the wisdom of the man of god in the house god bless you pastor paul well greetings to you it's good to be <laughs> with you again and with pastor barnes and uh you know god's wisdom comes from his word and so we're going to get into his word just a little bit, just a devotional. God wants to give us a blessing of peace today. And I want to speak a blessing of peace over you. So I'm going to actually read from verse 1 of Second John. And it says, The elder to the chosen lady and her children, whom I love in the truth, not only I, but also all who know the truth, because of the truth which lives in us and will be with us forever. And then the blessing, grace, mercy, and peace from God the Father and from Jesus Christ, the Father's Son, will be with us in truth and in love. And this is a common Christian greeting. Paul uses it to open the book of Romans, to open the book of 1 Timothy. Most of the letters in the New Testament have a, a blessing, a greeting uh, at the beginning. And in the Old Testament, uh, this had a connotation, this piece of like a shalom, a well-being, a completeness, a, a peacefulness of life. And so John is giving this blessing to the people. Uh, the ironic blessing, you know, in Numbers chapter 6, uh, Aaron, God gives it to Aaron. He says, this is how you're to bless the people. The Lord bless and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious toward you. The Lord turn his face toward you and give you peace and that was a blessing from god to the people and so i want to speak that ironic blessing to you today that god will give you his peace so john's writing this letter uh, because the people are going through something false teachers are rising up and john doesn't want these false teachers to trouble the people so he tells them look we are of christ he doesn't want them to be troubled so he speaks a blessing of peace over them and as they walk in the truth three times in that verse one and two he talks about the truth and that truth is jesus christ so as we walk in christ as we walk in the truth of the gospel they will have peace and that sense of well-being there's a lot of chaos in our world today people are fearful because of COVID 19. some people's financial situation has suffered people are worried about being sick i have two friends just yesterday told me they were positive for COVID. And so I understand there's a lot of turmoil in the spirit today, but God wants you to know that you can have his peace. Amen. Amen. Even in our world today, there, there's a, uh, it seems like the moral direction of our country is spiraling downhill. Uh, it, it seems like there's an antichrist spirit at work even in our world. But God would tell you today, you who live in the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ, you can have peace today. Amen. Peace knowing that if God be for us, who could be against us? Knowing that we have an eternal hope and glory in Christ Jesus. Amen. So we have our focus in heaven and what God has for us. No matter what goes on around us, we can have that shalom, that Amen. sense of well-being, that mm. sense of peace mm. that God wants to give to us. 
I'm reminded what Jesus said in John 16, 33. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Amen. In the world you will have trouble, mm. but take heart. I have overcome the world. And we are overcomers, more than conquerors, in Christ Jesus who loved us and gave himself for us so we can live in peace even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. Amen? Mm -hmm. And as we approach this Christmas season, as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, I'm reminded of the declaration that the angels made to the shepherds, glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to good to men who, on whom God's favor rests. Amen? Amen? We have God's favor because we are in Christ. And so that declaration of peace is for you and for me even today. Amen? Amen. Jesus himself said in John 14, 27, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give as the world gives. Do not let your heart be troubled. Do not be afraid. Amen? Amen. And so God's favor rests on us, and we can have a peace that passes all understanding, that shalom, that well-being as a blessing for us today. So saints, be encouraged. Amen. We are of Christ Jesus. We walk in the truth. The, that truth lives in us and will be in us forever. Amen. So no matter what situations come our way, no matter what this world brings us, we have a shalom. We have a peace. And may God's peace rest on you today. God bless you. Have a blessed Christmas season. And remember, when the time comes, when you feel troubled in spirit, look to the Lord and say, Lord, thank you. You bless me with your peace. God bless you today. Amen.